what up what up what up welcome back to the channel talking about the internet computer protocol why because innovation always wins this is the well frequency channel for justin jack bear so i just had some some companies execs reach out to me about developing a back-end system for their 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 own proprietary security development or standard that they use with their clients that requires the internet computer protocol technology. So even though they can offer a unique product in the market, it's only one facet or one layer of security technology that still is not complete without something like tamper-proof canisters and encrypted back-end technology in that computer protocol. So this is going to be a great opportunity. I hope I can onboard them and share details of the project once I've secured it, secured a contract. And uh, yeah, pretty exciting. It's in a new space that I'm not familiar with. Uh, it's post-quantum encryption. Um, I posted on X some of the some of the languages or some of the technology that's going to be used as people are preparing for this big influx of AI language models the boom with general artificial intelligence and we're seeing all the legacy tech companies make announcements this past week and and they're talking about an AI bubble but I don't think so I think this is just the beginning of the next five years where AI is actually going to boom and explode because of the release of of uh, next gen large language models like ChatGTP, Gemini, Nano Banana. So it's interesting where things are going with this, but what's more interesting is AI agents. Now we have AI agents that are going to be running autonomously on the web in the background while caffeine.ai, the self writing internet, is building the infrastructure and the rails for some of the most reliable, secure, near instant finality and cost efficient general compute there is in the world. And what the Bitcoin maxes don't realize is that it's gonna cost them hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars to move Bitcoin if they're buying six figure digits of Bitcoin and the cost to move is so much cheaper on our computer protocol so that's going to be my focus is some of the original blockchain technology that exists is the foundation for what we're calling digital finance even though it's just an ideology that everyone has bought into including the global financial institutions and capital markets. Whereas I think over 33% of the data mining is owned by five conglomerates. So do you really want your Bitcoin living inside of a third-party wallet, a third-party blockchain that uses legacy cloud? Or relies on these centralized mining and servers globally? I would think not. I would think not. So you can move your Bitcoin over into chain key Bitcoin, which is not wrapped and lives in tamper proof canisters at a low cost, high efficiency, 0 0.0001 cost to transfer a dollar worth of 
Bitcoin, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. In any case, there's enough Bitcoin in the world to move on the internet computer protocol that's actually going to bring more liquidity into the markets, into the ecosystem once people realize that the internet computer protocol is completely sovereign and independent to other blockchains. While other blockchains are going to be scrambling to patch, fill the gap, rely on legacy cloud tech for security infrastructure and maintenance and upgrades to keep up with the AI narrative that is going to boom and explode this industry. We've got the solution. So super stoked to see that there's people out there who understand ICP and internet computer technology, how it works, how it's going to be adopted, how to integrate it. So I appreciate all you. Thanks for the subs. Almost had a thousand subs here on YouTube. Still talking about the internet computer protocol, walking and talking, thinking out loud. Now do your own research. Don't take all my information or word for, you know, strict uh, truth, but I have enough research in the industry and the market over the last two years to understand and see where things are headed. Not to mention Definity Foundation who has the next 20 years mapped out. They literally built the internet computer protocol top to bottom, bottom to top, with the future of general AI in mind. That there would be a time when GPUs would run inference on the hardware, which is largely being mass produced by NVIDIA, and I think now AMD and maybe some other manufacturers. Um, Elon Musk saying that NVIDIA is making the best chips in the world, even they can't replicate it. And that uh, the CEO of NVIDIA has already stated that the future of the internet 2.0 and general artificial intelligence will be hardware bound, hardware bound models of business and not, and not data center or centralized cloud business models. So you're gonna see big legacy tech kind of scrambling to get their hands on these AI inference GPUs, which could technically, I think, allow them to distribute these nodes worldwide for themselves and create a backup system that would really benefit their their centralized servers and data centers. But like I said, they're looking for the innovators. They're looking to integrate the cheap efficiency, the high output, high throughput technologies like the Internet Computer Protocol. They're not going to invest billions of dollars and lose time over trying to recreate the wheel. They're simply just going to adopt. They're going to integrate. They're going to use Internet Computer Protocol, which is best suited for the future of general AI. And that's what we're seeing today. So if you put all the pieces together, you can see that all these other blockchains still rely on legacy tech and cloud and third party centralized infrastructure. And don't get me wrong, centralized servers and data centers have way more power for computation required for these uh, large language model, AI, photo and video um, productions. And that's fine. But when it leaves those those models, when your media and information and data leaves those models, it's in your best interest to store it, store it safely and securely at the lowest cost possible and not rely on the removal or on the omittance or possibly the changes in features for these these large language models and, and software and, and full stack developments, traditional full stack, they could make changes and remove features and remove content uh, on these upgrades and updates and maintenance to scale in order for them to keep up with all this ongoing changing of security measures and um, infrastructure required and program required that we're gonna see people are gonna experience downtime when things have to go into place. So that's one of the things with Internet Computer Protocol 
is that it keeps a, a solid state, and I think they talked about a fluid state, where the applications and games and everything can be updated in real time without losing progress of the user or the system itself. So that's what you wanna see with general AI, that you wanna see a fluid state of change without compromising any of the data or uh, GPU compute, which is now possible through NVIDIA cards, where Tesla is, I think, buying up to millions and millions of containers pre-purchased, pre-contracted out. So this, this new GPU is going to flood the market over the next five years. And with a 10, year, a 10 trillion a year cybercrime industry set to double by 2030, there's still a need, still a demand, still a requirement, and still rules and regulations by law to be enforced with how AI agents are allowed to function within the parameters and the rails of centralized compute, decentralized nodes. And they're gonna make it consumer eccentric. They're gonna say, we're gonna protect the consumer where they're actually protecting their own assets and, and needs perhaps in the beginning. But we're gonna see a lot of big shakeups and changes in 2026. We're gonna see an explosive growth in technology. ICP has already been built and ready to scale large language models at this at this rate of, of industry development. The innovation, the technology is there. It's going to scale, it's going to adoption. I'm really happy and confident and proud that I'm able to bring uh, strategies and integration solutions to enterprise companies with all the research that I've done, all the information that I hold and acquire. And I have some really great developers uh, on my team who reached out to me that want to work on projects prior to, um, you know, prior to getting all this, all this uh, uh, reach out for, for contracts. So I appreciate you all, you know who you are. I uh, appreciate you all for all the subs, for liking the content, following along. Stay tuned. More JackBear.ai stuff coming out. Go check out Caffeine.ai. Start building your ideas. Bring it to the world. doesn't matter if it's the same idea or not. If it's built on the Internet Computer Protocol for the first time, you are the first to market advantage. You are building on the Internet 2.0. Nobody else is. Until the next one, stay groovy.